all right guys I'm back with another video I got to turn this thing down yesterday and uh, I got everything labeled um, it's going smooth pretty far can re pull the timing cover and um, got uh, fuel lines to remove um, pretty standard stuff and a couple more connectors Got the injector plug there and um, fuel lines for the injector, fuel lines in the back. And then we'll pull this intake off, upper and lower both, pull them together and pull the heads and start cleaning everything up. I did end up taking the grill out, um, which means the headlights or the parking lights had to come out. So get that done uh, I do have to raise it up get the exhaust taken off get the manifolds off and then should be able to rock and roll this thing will go pretty quick get it tore down get it cleaned up and then uh, a lot of this wiring we're not going to use since we are going carbureted I just wanted to label everything that way it was marked we knew where it went uh, <clears throat> you got a ton of plug-ins on these things like I said, it is a 96, so everything is, uh, you know, electronic on these we we're doing away with. I'd say this thing should make right around, he would be happy with anywhere from 400 to 420 horsepower. Um, it's getting the 195 AFR heads. A salt intake and then a Holly brawler uh, actually this is not getting a brawler this is getting the uh, I believe it's called a DFT it might not be correct but it uh, it's still on back order from Jags this seems like everything we've ordered through Jags just takes three years to get anymore shit's pretty ridiculous so here's where I'm at with it from the first video. Um, I did end up re removing the distributor already, so that's out of the way. And um, I'll go ahead and remove the coil bracket and uh, vent valve solenoid and all the bullshit over here on this side. And then start on the exhaust. We'll be able to rock and roll once we get this thing taken down and cleaned up real good. Start putting it uh, back together. We'll we'll do another video of that once we start getting things uh, down to that point. So, and another thing is, like I said, we're going to do away with the AC. Uh, he doesn't want AC on the truck. He doesn't use AC. He's a windows down kind of guy. Uh, back window open, which this truck don't have that option. But um, I get where he's going. Uh, it's going to be a just a cruiser on nice days. A clean truck um, it's got a few things um, here and there but he is going to end up getting a paint job on this thing as well um, we are going with uh, SSR spikes this is another customer's build just a uh, Toyota Starlet um, going with a radical 14 degree 358 uh, 500 shot of nitrous two kits plate system and a, uh, a fogger so we are going to go with these SSR spikes on the truck with some 33 1250s the four inch lift um, still going to be able to get in the truck don't have to climb in and fall out that's one nice thing about the smaller lifts so I'll rock and roll in this thing today, get the heads off and take off, get the cam out, check everything over and we'll uh, make another video of that once we get down to that point. So we'll see you on the next one.